In this video, we will discuss the treatment of just one muscle, the trapezius. We have isolated this muscle from all the rest because it is one of the most prominently affected muscles by physical and emotional stress. The trapezius can cause many symptoms from tension type headaches to burning between the shoulder blades to pain at the base of the neck and on the top of the shoulder. The trapezius muscle is quite large. It extends from the base of the head to the top of the shoulder and then down at an angle to the 12th thoracic vertebra. There are many pain patterns caused by trigger points in the trapezius muscle. To keep things simple, we will focus on the most common trigger points that can form in each division of the muscle, the upper, the middle, and the lower trapezius. The upper trapezius refers a very common pain pattern which causes the person to feel like they are having a headache. The pain goes up the back side of the neck, crosses over a little above the ear, and concentrates in the temple. Pain from this muscle can also concentrate here in the angle of the jaw. When we compress the trigger points in the upper trapezius muscle, we can see that pain pattern emerge. The middle trapezius refers a very common but rare muscular symptom. This trigger point causes a patient to feel a burning sensation between the shoulder blades at the level of about C7 down to T3 in this region here. Compression of the trigger point will allow us to see that pain pattern. This symptom is rare because this is one of the only muscles that refers a burning type sensation. The lower trapezius runs from the 12th thoracic vertebra near the bottom of the rib cage up towards the scapula. This muscle can harbor a very odd trigger point which then refers pain here to the base of the skull. When we compress that trigger point located here, we can see that pain pattern emerge. This trigger point is very commonly overlooked for this particular pain and many people who suffer with it spend large amounts of time treating the area which hurts at the base of the skull to no avail. To treat the upper trapezius muscle, we will be using the back number two smaller hook to reach around from the front and compress it. We can start here near the angle of the shoulder. Keep in mind that the trapezius runs all the way up to the base of the skull, comes down like this, and ends up in the shoulder. So we can treat the majority of that muscle by applying direct downward force and compressing the muscle into the shoulder. Be careful once we get here to the area of the joint. We don't want to put too much pressure into the joint space itself so that we don't cause any damage. Also, we never want to compress directly into the side or the front of the neck as there are prominent blood vessels and nerves in that area which may be damaged. To treat the middle trapezius muscle, Notice that as Erica is compressing the muscle between the shoulder blades here, she's keeping her arms close to her body in a position that is comfortable for her. The lower trapezius muscle may be treated by using the larger curve of the back number two tool to reach around from the front and reach about halfway to three quarters of the way down the shoulder blade. Remember this muscle comes all the way from where the base of the ribs are located up at an angle towards the scapula. So this is where we need to catch the fibers of the lower trapezius muscle. If we have Erica turn slightly, we can see that her arms are still close to her body and she is using the tool in a way that is comfortable for her. 